Merry Christmas Eve and welcome to Diecast Reviews. So I'll be doing a review on the Disney Pixar Cars white box. Well, more importantly, what's in the Disney Pixar Cars white box. Now, looking at it, most of you will probably know what's in here. Um, uh, if you don't still know what's in here, then this logo should probably give it away. The MaddieCollector.com logo. And if you still don't know what it is, then it is Barry Diesel. Here is Barry in the box out of the white Disney Pixar Cars box that uh, I've uh, decided not to review. But uh, here's a picture of him, like an animated picture of him there. Here is just the die cast of him, that may be the prototype, I'm not sure. It's in the final lap card as well, just uh, probably doing the, some of the best days for cars collecting in this time era in 2010 in the final lap series. I mean, I wish we could have that back. Or Mattel's distribution. I guess it was kind of bad, but they made a bunch of cool cars, and at least the distribution was somewhat okay. I mean, they did cancel a lot of cars, unfortunately, towards the end, but, you know, we're slowly getting some of them. But, uh, yeah, Barry was the second ever RV released of this, um, after Elvis RV, and uh, he was like, um, he was a Maddie Collector.com exclusive. I said, online so i don't know what he originally retailed for prices are probably way higher now i got this for christmas last year and i'm reviewing this for christmas i guess this year so yeah um time has come for barry that's for sure but uh yeah let's get barry here out of the box i think it's enough of him being in the box you can see a bunch of dinoco um like thingies back there tents and i think some rvs i think larry maybe larry camper dog arm anyways Let's get Barry here out of the box. Here is Barry looking all perfect out of the box. Let's take a close look at him. Of course, the main attraction here is like this Dynaco can things out in front. Although, an RV is awesome. Any day you get an, I get an RV is a great day. So, you can see he's got a very tired, relaxed, not don't doesn't really care expression there. He's like has this like i don't know brown stripe that goes around uh all of him just like loops around then uh, there's his mouth of course he's drinking um some dynaco light so here's where it gets cool he has this cap this dynaco cap then he has this like thing that's attached to the cap i don't even uh, maybe this is this, uh, this isn't actually attached to the cap he just attaches it and see it's molded there into the roof and then down under here there's these little two like little um Places for you to put your Dynaco light container in and then out of the Dynaco light container comes a straw that hooks around and to his mouth same thing from here so he can be gulping and sipping on two Dynaco light containers instead of one like normal people would do Barry but mm, no just kidding but like normally if we get a car with the oil can he's only drinking one little oil can Barry here of course drinking two big oil cans uh, nice wheels down there you have this like brown stripe, like I said, continuing. You have this little second stripe upstairs and then going around, well, not upstairs, but like above and going around and around. And then you some dirt detailing. Of course, they could probably put more dirt detailing. Like, why would you only put dirt detail detailing in there? That doesn't really make sense to just put dirt detailing in two spots. Like, that's a very specific place for dirt detailing, Mattel, but whatever. Of course, you got this probably very classic RV design of this, like, cream color brown cream and this, like, light dark, like, not light, but, I don't know, this is dark peachy beige type color, I don't know, but some lights down there. You have, on the back, you have some more detailing, a window and a spare tire here. Again, more detailing, dirt detailing on the back, some lights, and I'm assuming some more lights, I don't know what those are. Same thing on the side, pretty much. Of course, you have three windows on each side there. On the top, you have some, I think these are air vents, and I'm pretty sure these are some, like, emergency escape hatches. Like, if he flips over, in real life, if an RV would flip over, people could escape out of these emergency um, exit hatches, I guess. But uh, he's, he's definitely, he's very nice. He's pretty heavy, like you would expect him to be. He's pretty long as well. He's actually quite bigger than I expected him to be. I mean, he's probably one of my favorite RVs that I have. Of course, if I had Albert Hinky, I mean, he would be my favorite. Unfortunately, I don't have him. I never went to DT D23, and yeah, just never got him. I've never been actually to any of these D23, Comic Con, whatever, San Diego Comic Con. So, but I think from, like, they've kind of slowed down on 
their releases. Like, they've had Convoy Brothers. Like, if they announce that they release, I don't know, a set of, like, it, RVs that are in the infield, I book me tickets to Florida or um, San Diego, wherever they held these uh, Comic-Con thingamabobs, because I'm, I'm going there to buy one of those RVs sets if they ever do release that, because, I mean, that would be amazing. But let's get, let's compare Barry here to some other RVs that I have. Of course, now I'm gonna, I'm not gonna compare him to the Convoy Brothers, Albert Hanky, because I don't have them, but uh, we'll compare him to some Doug RMs and Larry Campers of the world. So first, uh, well, I just saw Doug RM, I was bringing him over here, but let's compare him to Larry Camper here. Um, yeah, small, way, way smaller, and just not the same model. Same thing with Elvis RV here. It's not comparable at all. Here is Doug RM. You could kind of compare them. They're kind of similar. They might actually be, like, the same model, except one's bigger, the other's smaller. I don't know, but you can see they both have, like, the nose denting outwards, I guess. And then the back, well, for Barry here, the back is also denting outwards, whereas for Doug... The back is denting inwards. Like, Doug looks like someone took him. Like, he was a box, and someone took him and just smashed him through the back. I mean, I'm sorry, but that's what he kind of looks like. Um, very here. Yeah, just big. Very big. He's way... He's probably a Doug RM and a half of Doug. He's probably one Doug and a half. Probably what about Larry here. Larry's pretty long. What about Elvis here? Yeah. Um, now... Like, a bunch of these RVs, you don't, like, Elvis, Elvis seems like he just comes to the races to sing and just not, like, watch the race. Uh, Larry seems to just be a fan of all of them, all of the racers. Uh, Doug here seems to be a fan of Lightning and just the Piston Cup in general. And I do have Van Scanlane, but I haven't reviewed him. That review will probably be coming out in a couple of days, so, um, yeah, so... I'll, I'll compare Barry when I review Van. I'll compare Barry to Van. But uh, let's compare Barry to some non-Cars RVs. And, of course, by non-Cars RVs, I mean Harvey and Winnie. Here's Harvey. Just, like, I mean, just look at that. You could fit two Harveys, probably. Like, I don't know. Either these, either Harvey and Winnie and the rest are undersized or Barry's just really oversized because I doubt that in real life, this RV is way bigger than this RV. Like, I don't know. But I think one of them is definitely not scaled properly. Harvey's way different because he, like, jutes in and out. And then the back is kind of straight. Or, as of course, Barry's like that. Winnie's, I think, more similar to him. Her front is also, like, poked out. And the back also kind of, like, the front is also outdented a bit. And the back is also outdented a little bit. Of course, she also has the rear tire thing there. Of course, she's also really small compared to Barry here. But, uh, yeah, those are the RVs. Let me know out of these, all these RVs, let me know which one is your favorite. I, of course, have to go with Barry Diesel. Of course, if I had, uh, like, Albert Hinky or the Convoy Brothers, I'd go with probably them. But out of these Barry Diesels, I figured I don't think my turntable can handle it. I'll just switch. Let's see. I don't know, but I can't. But uh, Barry Diesel is my favorite out of these. Let's uh, get Barry here. A ride on the turntable. Here, let's uh, zoom in just a bit. There we go. So, Barry, yeah, he's very cool. Definitely. Now, in the movie, that was weird, but in the movie, uh, there were two possible RVs that looked really, really similar, but one of them was Barry and one of them wasn't because one of them, the one that appeared in the LA race, was Barry because he was a little more thinner and had, like, the green eyes. But then the, the other RV that appeared in the Motor Speedway of the South race was a little wider and had brown eyes, but that was the RV for some reason that Pixar and Disney used in, like, their Car Finder games and whatnot. So I'll put a picture of both of them up here on the screen. Um, and I'll probably put a picture of, like, the Car Finder game that had the incorrect Barry there. But, um... Yeah, so you kind of be the judge of which one's correct, which one's not. But I feel like, for some reason, Mattel... Mattel... Disney may have meant to name the RV at the Motor of the Speedway of the South, the one more wider and the one with brown eyes, Barry Diesel. But instead, they ended up naming... Mattel ended up producing the LA race. Uh, the, L, the RV at the LA Speedway 
that had the green eyes and was more thinner, and they named him Barry Diesel, but Pixar had already used like the brown eyes, the brown eyed RV in the Car Finder game. So definitely kind of weird there, but uh, let me read you Barry's bio. So Barry's bio is as follows. Barry Diesel loves Dynaco oil. He starts his day off with Dynaco's extreme octane to give him that extra kick in the bumper, and then it's gallon after gallon of Dynaco regular to keep, to keep him running smooth all day. However, his wife thinks it's about Barry switched to Dynaco light. Now, of course, that kind of contradicts with what like the die cast has and what the picture here has. Here's the picture of him. Of course, there he is the green eyed version there. There's a. Uh, Convey Brothers, of course, would be awesome if we got Clayton Gentle Beast. There was a picture of him actually previewed on the Walmart.com website. For some reason, when it got released, probably was also canceled. Hopefully, he'll be released this next year, 2019. Almost this year. And there's Sid Vander Camper. Now, him, I see as a possible D23 Expo or Comic Con exclusive, whatnot. Um, because you could have him, and then you could also have, like, these flamingos, the little pool raft thing that he has, the palm trees, and the little, like, box here but i feel like that could be a really cool d23 comic con expo exclusive or not but whatever but um of course the buyer kind of contradicts because here we can see barry drinking dynaco light um and of course the bio says his wife thinks it's about time for him to switch to dynaco light but then again maybe he just listened to his wife for the race and bought some dynaco light or something and not dynaco octane extra whatever they call it but um uh, i don't know but yeah, let me know how you rate Barry here. I rate him a solid nine and a half out of ten. If to be a ten out of ten car for me, you have to be like absolutely perfect. And Barry's not because like, there one minor minor detail that doesn't make him a ten out of ten is that this this is kind of unrealistic that there's just dirt here and not all over the car. But anyways, um yeah, so Merry Christmas, guys. Let me know how you rate Barry Diesel, I guess. But a Merry Christmas. Uh, Eve, uh, technically it's not Christmas yet, um, this video will come out very early on Christmas Eve, probably like 7 a.m. Central, because people have stuff to do probably for 10, from 10 a.m. out on, on Christmas Eve, so I don't want, like, I will also be busy on Christmas Eve, so I don't want you guys to, like, miss the video, I guess, um, because it'll pro if I put it out late on Christmas Eve, people might not see it, and then get scrolled down their subscription feed, and then people might not see it, um, but, uh, like, I, I, but if I put it out in the morning, people might see it. Of course, it still might not be seen by as many people as it would have been if I put it up on, like, December 22nd or the 26th or whatnot. But then again, if I put something out on the 26th, Canadians might not see it if, like, uh, Boxing Day. Also, I, although I think more UK people watch my videos than, uh, uh Canadians, but I don't know. But, uh, yeah, of course, it'll come out early, probably, like, 7, 7 a.m. Central, like I said, 5 a.m. Pacific, I think that is. Um, hopefully, you guys can see it. I wish you all a Merry Christmas. New Year's right around the corner. It's almost 2019. Um, if you've asked for some cars for Christmas, I hope you guys get some cars. I've definitely asked for some cars for Christmas. But, um, yeah, hopefully, uh, you guys will have a happy Merry Christmas. Um, yeah, have a good time, have a great, great fun, and I uh, wish it was almost Christmas when I'm recording this, it's not, it's December 9th, so, still quite ways to go, although it's, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, and faster and faster, but, thanks for watching here, guys, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see y'all next time, Merry Christmas, bye-bye.